this vlog starts Sunday, April 1st. Oh, the lighting's horrible. All right, there we go. 2018. Coming here to this doorway where I'm picking up Otney, my Aunt Lonnie. I'm not sure that she's been on, on this vlog channel before, maybe once or twice, but insert the clip. You giving Aunt Lonnie a big hug? As you can see, we were very close from a very young age, at least a very young age for me. I'm actually here picking up a few dishes from her because I need to help her in her 75th year of life. I'm gonna help her get the dishes in the car and over to Ellen. Ellen is actually my cousin, which is her daughter. I actually just failed picking up the Jewish food, which, uh... Hey there. Hi. I was just telling them how I failed picking up the Jewish food. <laughs> <laughs> we live in a fallen world that doesn't know. We do. They think it's Easter and it's, you can find all the Easter eggs yeah. and marshmallow bunny rabbits and other fertility symbols that you wanted, but you couldn't yeah. find a piece of Bunch of goy, right? Goy in. Yes. Goy in it's singular. Hebrew, right. It's singular. Anything with a with an eem on the end in Hebrew is plural. Right. So goyim. Plural, plural, plural masculine, actually. Okay, like yeladim would be little yes. boys. Yes. Yelad is child. Yes. Or, or boy. Yeah. Anyway, so a bunch of goyim over there at uh, Win Dixie. Couldn't find the stuff I was looking for. No. I think we're gonna we're gonna be okay. Matzah. The Israelites Jesus are okay. Jesus is risen, so you know <laughs> even so the Messiah exactly. has taken care of everything. Exactly. He's died for our sins, even the ones of the guys who didn't bring the matzah for now. So. Exactly. So uh, that's me. I think we have enough. <laughs> we're gonna have enough food. So we need to grab your, some of your stuff. Get over to help Ellen bring a wrench tables. and set up a table. Yeah. A wrench. A wrench. Where they grow cows. But that's where they grow cows if you're an old Jewish guy, a wrench. Right. But I need to bring her the wrench, so let's do that now. Okay. I forgot about those pots up there. I was looking for what pots do I bring? <laughs> I haven't told told these guys about the Indonesia trip at all. You haven't told the Indonesia yeah. guy? Yeah. No. No, I told Taylor that oh, I'm not coming. Okay. <laughs> Ultimately, I had scheduled a trip. I booked two tickets to Indonesia. And I haven't even told you guys. I was going to do like a whole other vlog about I'm going to Indonesia with my friend Alex Helmer, but... Why'd you buy two tickets? I bought Alex's oh. ticket also. Oh, no, Cause he was gonna help me film and do work and like... So was he still going? Drown, no, and I'm gonna hopefully get a refund for both those tickets, but I'm no longer going on this trip because I lost a project manager with my company and if I would have left to Indonesia during this like, my business is at the spearhead of like about to hopefully break through this next season. And if I'm not here, it wouldn't work. So, I need to be here. Well, hopefully you get your money back or else you're going to have to go to Indonesia some other time. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to get the points back because I spent 191,000 business points wow. for two tickets. That means I spent that much money to get... I'm just trying to get to Texas. Hey, That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, me too at some point. Are you actually going to go? That's I'm hoping subject. to go in the next month really? or two. Yeah. No, what is this <laughs> on top of there? Well, I love how you look at the camera like that. It's something that everybody mentions in my vlogs, and this is what it looks like. If you guys don't know, this Velcro's onto the top of my camera where the microphone goes. In the wind, it muffs it. It's called oh, a, it's a windshield. It's a windshield. It's called a micro muff. There's so much wind here in my kitchen, so. You no, know, but I just leave it, it on. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it has a mustache. <laughs> a mustache. Hey. Guys, guys, guys. Guys. Just... Come here. It's cousin Jess. It's okay. Gosh, it's just never like this. Sweetheart. You want to level up the table, Elle? I got gotcha. you. Gus, we're going to be best friends. Oh, yeah. This junk is on level. The amount of people that are like in sexual slavery that we find out now, even in our city, apparently people? slavery is worse now. In there are Syria? more people on slave now in the world than ever before. Exactly. Is that because the population is increasing, or is yes. it because? Well, yeah, but I mean, okay. yeah, it's not. It's like, also because it's becoming a worse. Remember, story. yeah, like the whole point of today is to remember that we were in slavery and that God saved us and everything. But also to think about there's so many people in slavery right now. Right. And even today. Yeah. yeah. In our contemporary times, like to remember that and like what can we as a family do even to be compassionate or be proactive in these things or like, like dwell on 2500 years ago or something like that right <laughs> like how can it change us and make us be like not that we shouldn't still others. remember about our ancestors but today think maybe, about the modern times maybe even be like so thankful that we were delivered out of slavery you know like not even that time but like 
thousand years later, they were trying to kill us again, or right. Holocaust, or whatever. Or last be, week. Be <laughs> thankful that we are here and we're free. Like, thank God. Yeah, it's good. And how can we help those that aren't right mm -hmm. now? One of the things I read was just like ideas. It was kind of interesting. Like, instead of, you know, you hide the matzah and the youngest person gets like five dollars or whatever. Five dollars. Five dollars. That is dear. Grace to give us twenty bucks. What? <laughs> really? Yeah. You don't remember that? I never got twenty bucks. I always got. I mean, yeah. Twenty bucks. <laughs> so this is to teach your your children about what happened. So it's also a good, wonderful way to teach your children about how to be compassionate. Philanthropic. I like so, it. So here, That's here's good. You, you found your your matzo thing, Hudson. Here's your now you have to five dollars twenty dollars. Yeah, good donate it. <laughs> Here's a couple of things, like which one are, is like important to you that you want to donate to? 2,000 years later. The gefilte fish. This is why fish. we eat gefilte fish It's because Passover. our relatives like in Russia and Eastern Europe were like super poor. Mm -hmm. And it was like she said, the carp ass. It was like pieces <laughs> and parts that they put you together and made part. like fish meatballs because they were poor. Yeah. So and we take it here and have like the tradition. Oh, we're Jewish. We have to have gefilte fish, which is crazy. So I have to. It's like it's like, it's like the Jews. It's like the. Yeah. Reminded of Big. the suffering. Yeah, we eat it to. Well, no, so how we used to be poor. Yeah, to be reminded. Sorry, I'm not, well, I maybe, but we eat the Ooh. parsley dipped in the salt well, water. Finish the gefilte fish. Remind the tears. Yeah. All the things on the seder plate are to remind us of how bad things were, like mm -hmm. and as slaves. We just eat because it's tradition, and we think it's Jewish, oh. but really it's just because we were poor. My grandmother ah. would so have to have, have gefilte fish. It it's a tradition. It's a Eastern European yeah. tradition. But she would get a, a carp, which is it's made of. That's like a big goldfish. Yeah. And it would her <laughs> for a couple days. Yes, I remember this. And then she would like hack the head off. Oh and, my you know, gosh. And then the bowl, Jenny's got the bowl. She would chop it and you know and make gefilte fish with so, lots of meal. And so it wasn't that out of the ordinary when Jenny brought the koi fish from her pond to Jesse's house that one time. Oh my gosh. It, it wasn't Passover. Yeah. A few moments later. Then there is the you, bone, Zora. <laughs> And in our family, of Which course, today a milk bone. we have a dog bone, Gus. Yeah. Gus, actually, you yeah. know what? Now we have somebody who can eat the bone. <laughs> <laughs> and it's your first seder. Is he Jewish now? <laughs> he's about to be. Is he circumcised? He's, he's, he's not circumcised. He's gotta be. He's gotta be. By the end of the night, he'll. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Oh, good, good boy. Yantif. Good yantif. All right, shalom. <laughs> Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with your commandments and brought us to this time and this season. Amen. Amen. This is Wait, this is the Thank you. Right. I go ahead. Thank you, brother. We need matzah because it reminds us that our ancestors had to skedaddle out of Egypt in a big hurry. The matzah is because they didn't have eleven. Right. Get out fast. Make regular bread. Unless you really failed, it doesn't look like this. They were in a hurry ultimately to get out of Egypt. This represents the brick and the mortar, right? The harosa. Okay, I just wanted to clarify. Where's the horseradish around, guys? Everyone oh, gets some harosa. I get the good apple Already? stuff and the hot spicy yes. stuff and some matzo. Harosa, chopped apples, raisins. Um, this is the extra because I'm not answering this all the around for like 26 right? years. <laughs> I know, I've been doing this for 26 yeah. years. Um, I've never made it. We're not doing a documentary. We're filming. So. Uh, I think they just want yeah. yeah. to be like yeah. Yeah. silent yeah. watching yeah. us yeah. all in our... Oh, I can't narrate? Right, you have to do that separately and I think that's what... It's the narrative. If you say it again, it's the like the comedy. I'm getting rejected by my family. Well, there's, I'm a vlogger. So you just find a way to do it. <laughs> the tears of being in slavery. And again, back to what we said before, the tears of all the people in the world right there's now. There's typically partially. Um, dip it in and then you like shake it off. It's supposed to look like tears falling. So we dip it into the salt water. I'm trying to it. it represents oh, her, more, um, our ancestors' tears. All right, now. <laughs> I got it out. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. There's like a hundred people here that are watching. All right, guys, there's a lot more to in. In the kitchen. All right, for now. <laughs> So Sydney. It was one of the embarrassing. Yeah. Pick it up a little bit. All right. Does everybody want matzo ball? They laugh now. I want to find out how many matzo balls. Yay! I did. I'm a very good matzo ball.